One of the most challenging issues a farmer can have in his fields is when he has what's called sodic soil. With sodic soil, that means there's too much sodium in the field, and quite often then, as an effect of this high sodium, the soil pH is really high, there's a lot of soil crusting, just major, major challenges. We're gonna talk today about how to fix that sodic soil. One of the big challenges about having too much sodium, or you could look at it as too much salt out in your field, is we wanna get that salt to flush through the soil. But when you have such a high percentage of sodium in the top part of the soil, that really seals the soil up and doesn't let water infiltrate through. If we can't get water to flush through, it's really difficult to flush any salt out of that soil. All right, but we gotta start with what's the root cause of the problem? Well, the whole cause of this issue was poor drainage. Now, a lot of people will tell you, oh, tile isn't gonna work in sodic soil. That's ridiculous. Put some tile in the ground and you're not gonna be able to most likely get by with 70 foot spacings or 100 foot spacings. You might need 20 or 30 foot spacings. And I know this is gonna mean some investment, but let's look at how much land is selling for today and let's look at how productive that sodic soil is today. Okay, you've got a lot of dollars tied up in something that's producing nothing. So what we're talking about here is investing some money for the super long term. When you tile, we're talking a 50 or 70 year investment. Okay, so that's a great thing. You put that tile in the ground, now we've got something that, hey, long term, we're gonna start fixing the problem because we wanna turn that sodium into a salt. And when we do, keep in mind, salts are leachable. They'll flush out through that drainage system. And yeah, it's gonna take time to get this done, but you gotta get started with the first step and the first step is tiling. The number one thing I guess that we wanna tell you today is don't just say, oh, that area of the field is just no good and there's nothing I can ever do about it. There absolutely is, but it's gonna take some work most likely. You've gotta get some tile in the ground and in every single area of the country, you can tile. So there's no excuse for saying, oh, in our area it doesn't work or in our area we can't tile. Every single area of the country can tile, you are legally allowed to tile your land, okay? That's perfectly legal, nothing wrong, you can do it. So yes, you might have to work with a bunch of neighbors, you might have to work with highway departments, you gotta figure something out. But once you get that tiling in, you get some calcium out there somehow, some way, possibly some sulfur, you start raising some barley, you get some more organic matter in there. After 10, 15 years, pretty soon you've got that back to pretty normal, productive ground. And it's good to have ground where a crop will grow, but unfortunately many times that means weeds will grow there too. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up next.